there's two challenge processes. There's one for this grant only at the state. And that doesn't change the FCC maps. That just means the state grant office can ignore the FCC maps. So though, those grants, if they get allowed, because it's way harder to change the FCC maps, it's really hard to change those. But the states can come along, get a challenge. They can say, yep, I agree with you because you did all these speed tests. They have to tell the NTIA about it. And the NTIA wants these grants to work. They're mostly going to say, yes, I believe. That does not change the underlying map, though. So okay, um, so yeah, so we don't have to wait for the FCC no, to complete their process. No, we have to, to we have to wait for them to get the first one out. I'm very pessimistic about that happening. <laughs> right, and especially because one of the things that has to happen, Fer Harold Feld talked about this, and and I know there's been some pushback on his analysis, but he was basically like, the FCC hasn't had a unanimous vote on any of these mapping issues for many years, and we have a two-two FCC. What are the odds that the FCC is going to come together to agree on a map? to move forward that there might be so much pressure on that one that they they might even get a unanimous vote because boy if, if you if two guys say you know we're not going to have this 45 billion dollar and they might because it's a political thing right well, boy, right because i mean i feel like yeah. you know it's one of those things that like you know if if the if republicans can run ads in october saying the biden administration hasn't put any of the money out yet or like you know that there's it's all right. stuck up and the biden administration is like well actually it's because of republican obstruction at the fcc like people have fallen asleep in the third word well, that's, of that that's explanation. already gone right yeah uh, so i just i, I feel like you're, you're, so, you're okay you're killing my slight five percent optimism i still have <laughs> <laughs> my, my question is how many people are the fcc going to hire to to handle this like because it's, it's trying to hire all these people. they're not getting money out of this grant stuff they have their normal budget so yeah. well the fcc did yeah. get like uh, like 200 million dollars i thought around the, some of this mapping stuff but i assume that those hires are completed yeah anyone that they would have been and those all went to consultants they went to the mm -hmm.